Good evening to everyone assembled here. I am Ankita Shah from the Poetry Club Mumbai. The Poetry Club Mumbai is a space for poets to share their work and engage in discussions and dialogue on all things poetry. We are constantly exploring and bringing to poets a platform to connect with larger audiences through an art form that is largely considered as niche and slowly but surely undoing and unlearning that assumption. Our events at the Lil Flea, the Kala Ghoda Arts Festival are a step in this direction. We have also conducted writing workshops for school and college students in, in collaboration with Akanksha Foundation. David Sassoon Library represents a space for learning and dialogue and we are both very glad and honoured to be invited and to be part of this Foundation Day celebration. We have five poets, including myself, who would be reading some of their best works to you in English, Hindi and Marathi. We really hope you enjoy the poetry that we'll be sharing today. Our first poet, Rochelle Portkar, is a fiction writer and poet. Her work has appeared in several Indian and international publications. Her book, The Arithmetic of Breasts and Other Stories, was shortlisted for the Digital Book of the Year Award 2014 by Publishing Next. She's working on a novel and two collections of so short stories. She was a writer in residence at the University of Iowa's International Writing Program Fall Residency 2015. She lives in the spicy, noisy, tropical city of Mumbai, India, and blogs at www.rochellepotkar.com. Please invite and welcome her with a big round of applause. Uh, we have seen enough of bouquets being offered and accepted. As a poet, what else can I do but offer you a bouquet of poems? My first poem is, is, on, is called Rage and it is thinking about family as a country and family members as denizens. Rage. I have rage inside me that I thought was because of my parents who fought like dogs. Dogs are always irrational or divine. They drew out a, a room and crayoned a window outside which I stood. I could do nothing and it boiled in me waiting to explode at the right heat and destiny. I was angry but anger is irrationality and helplessness the first step towards self-pity. So the lava in me disguised like Mehsabha's pristine water, into the woman of acceptable traditions and marriageable ages. Others fought. Israel and Palestine, North and South Korea, Northwest Pakistan, Myanmar, Somalia, Nigeria, Mexico, Egypt, the USA shot Afghanistan and Iraq at crucifixion joints. Sri Lanka burned from the middle like paper. Tibet tore, Syria was raped. Russia abducted Crimea. Every parent fought and anger rose in every offspring. The well-kept waters broke their mirage and submerged villages of repose. And here I thought, if you ran away from your parents, it would be a peaceful place somewhere else. That was my first poem. In this bouquet, my second poem is um, of another tone and substance. It's called Draupadi Hallucinating in Letters to Karna. My dreams are in five fractions of a whole vision. I am quenched by as many men, some viciously, some in pure intent, before my thirst uprises again. One man usually never has it all, Karn. If valor, then no moral strength. If dharma, then also infinite boredom. If vigor, then oblivious foolishness. If not, then no good looks or focus or muscle power equaling a hundred. But with you, it shall never be enough, Surya Putra. Light, not heat, is what I seek. But whoever goes close to the sun that illuminates her, at a distance, I see you whole. You possess focus, dharma, might, purity, beauty. Also, I imagine the cunning of my sakha. But even if I have it all, must I also possess this yearning for you 
appropriating in each limb equally, in the wailing, waiting silences of my unstoppable body. I am a well-fed woman, Karn, yet it is your armor that worries me. It won't feel my warmth, nor my reproaches. Thank you. And the last small poem in the bouquet, it's called Transmogrified. He was first a snake and in love with her, a she-snake. And then he molted and after he molted he was a turtle and he met another she-turtle and fell in love with her. When he deshelled after years he became a four-legged animal, black spots sprouting over his fur and he fell for a leopard. He moved this way through the jungles, the savannas, the deserts, the skies, through the oceans, the air, the land and beneath it, changing and changing and meeting and falling in love with new she species. The lovers he left behind did not change. They were who they were, the same. They were individualistic, so to speak. But now they were also heartbroken and full of hate for him the one who had left in the middle of passionate lovemaking. They had no idea how it was to live so many lives in one life like him. To take no breaks with rebirths from being mosquito to man. Sometimes evolution and progress is so fast, blessings and curses are all mixed up and one. Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle, for that wonderful bouquet of poetry. Our next poet, currently a creative head in a digital agency, Sanket, has been writing poems in Marathi since eight years. He has also been the chief associate director of Kavyotsav, the city's first ever poetry festival that brought Kannad and Marathi poets on a single dais. He has written for magazines and songs for Marathi serials. He's also a part of an initiative called Nat Vandan Cha Kavita, translated as the Poems of the Grandsons, a unique initiative where, we conduct, where they conduct poetry recitation sessions in old age homes. Please welcome Sanket Matre. Namaskar. So soon, library madhe aala nandar malasa zana ula ki hi phakta library nahi hai. तरी डेविड ससून ने लिखे एक कविता है जी आजपर्यंत इधे उभी है तो हा कविते मजा दोन कविता हा दो कवित विषय कविता सा है तो माला खरतर हा विषयी कविता सतत अभी करा विषय वाटते कि कुछ कवि सुचत कि कस सुचत कि सुचत तो हरती मी दो कविता लिखल कविता लिखावर वाट हि आप नहीं हि त्या दुसर चीज कविता लिखावर वाट हि आप नहीं हि त्या दुसर चीज आप फिथे कैलेंडर सारखे कि पेपरवेट खाली दबले कागदासारखे स्टैटिक ये तो दुसराज कुरी ये तो दुसराज कुरी घो हा डायरेक्ट शर्ट शर्ट छातीत हुड़कून काड़तो छातीत पिव फूल नी मन तो हि बग इत अड़कली होती तुझी कविता हि बग इत अड़कली होती तुझी कविता ठसठस तो खूब तो गेर कि कविता लिखावर ठसठस तो खूब तो गेर कि कविता लिखावर दुसर कविते शीर्षक है कविते शेवटी आ तुम्हारा संगेन मी का लिखेल है कि काय जी जा होते कवि ती कविता लिखावर होते ती कविता लिखता कि सुरुआती ही नसते तो कस कविते शेवटी चेते कविते भान कविते शेवटी चेते कविते भान आत बाहर पेटले जाए से रान आत बाहर पेटले जाए से रान लिहित नहीं तुम्हें कविता तुम्हारा लिहित लिहित नहीं तुम्हें कविता तुम्हारा लिहित सारे का ही हरवले तुम्हार वहीत मिला जरी तल तरी संपत नहीं ओ मिला जरी तल तरी संपत नहीं ओ शब्द जरी सुचले तरी अर्थां कल्लो इतके सारे लिहुन सुधा आत कोर च पान इतके सारे लिहुन सुधा आत कोर च पान कविते शेवटी चेते कविते भान आत बाहर पेटले जाए से रान थैंक यू संकेत 
our um, next poet Manoj Gopal Krishnan writes poetry in English and occasionally in Urdu. He writes English ghazals under the takhallus of Ice Park. In his day job as a scientist, he explores connections between life, matter and algorithms. He is a member of the Improv Comedy Mumbai. Please welcome Manoj Gopal Krishnan. Thank you, Ankita. Uh, thank you very much to David Sassoon Library and to Poetry Club Mumbai for giving me this opportunity to read some of my poetry here. Uh, I will begin. In the rule of the unrighteous, where lawmakers are lawbreakers, the barrel of the state's gun points at democracy and the constitution is a rag to muffle screams. In the rule of the unrighteous where goons dress in khaki, the indecent teach decency at the point of a gun and assault those they were meant to protect. In the rule of the unrighteous, where learned judges thirst for blood, a mother's heart is mined for coal, and Lady Justice watches, mute. In the rule of the unrighteous, where every woman must prove her honor and chastity to earn the privilege of not being raped. In the rule of the unrighteous, where lies are told as breaking news, where the voice of reason is accused of treason, and truth is auctioned to the highest bidder. In the rule of the unrighteous, where the crow eats pearls and the swan eats dirt, I have seen truth sitting in a corner, sharpening her pencils, biding her time. Thank you. I'm going to read a small uh, ghazal in English. Uh, before I get to that, I want to read a few lines in Urdu just to set the mood. Mere dil pe kaisa junu chaya hai? Aaj virane me tufan aya hai. Lai hai bahar, phir teri khushbu. फिर तेरी यादों ने सताया है चांद का रंग चांद का रंग भी मेरी आंखों सा है क्यों इसे भी तूने रुलाया है यू लुक अवे इग्नोर माय क्राइस वंस अगेन you look away, ignore my cries once again. I look for you in other eyes once again. I stand on shore. I stand on shore, implore the slowly setting sun to look for you in foreign skies once again. Can I afford to pay the price in love's bazaar? Can I afford to pay the price in love's bazaar? One look, one look will cost a thousand sighs once again. When gardens bloom and zephyrs kiss, when gardens bloom and zephyrs kiss, both fail to soothe. Must Adam look for paradise once again? I look for you in other eyes once again. Oh hunter, oh hunter, free the little bird, how can you bear? Oh hunter, free the little bird, how can you bear that look of longing for the skies once again? You struck a dagger, you struck a dagger through my heart, with such finesse, you struck a dagger through my heart with such finesse 
I looked right through your disguise once again. With sharpened quills, with sharpened quills, my learned friends will keep account. With sharpened quills, my learned friends will keep account and look to strike my vital lies once again. I pity them who beg to spend the night with you. I pity them who beg to spend the night with you. One look of yours makes it sunrise once again. If with a kiss this life should end, I swear to God, if with a kiss this life should end, I swear to God I'd look to kiss you once and twice and once again. Thank you. Thank you, Manoj. Our next poet, Ramnik Singh, is from Jammu. He has been published by Sahitya Academy Quarterly Shiraza. Previously, he was heading literature wing of Culture Shock at The Hive in Mumbai and now is working with TVE, Television for Environment, and making films on climate change. He was part of the recently concluded Difficult Dialogue as a core team content. His poetry mostly talks about irrelevant constitutional practices, archaic laws, and oppressive acts like AFSPA. Please welcome Ramnik Singh. रोज विरार से हाथ में काला बैग पकड़कर आता है एक टूटा हुआ ख्वाब जिसकी जिंदगी में उम्मीद के नाम पर सिर्फ अफसोस है रोज विरार से हाथ में काला बैग पकड़कर आता है एक टूटा हुआ ख्वाब जिसकी जिंदगी में उम्मीद के नाम पर सिर्फ अफसोस है सर से सर लगाकर चढ़ती उतरती भेड़ें अंधेरी दादर से डोंबी वली बोरी वली तक कदम से कदम मिलाकर सीढ़ियों पर चढ़ता झुंड जिसे पहुंचना है दफ्तरों में जाकर बैठना है कुर्सियों पर जिन पर कल कोई और बैठता था कल कोई और बैठेगा झुंड जिसे गुलामी का इतना शौक पड़ चुका है कि उनकी कहानी किसी पेंटिंग से कही जाए तो पेंटर थक जाएगा खींच के लकीरें गोल 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 और बनाकर छोड़ देगा एक मोटा सा गोला एक ही जगह पर घूमता दिशाहीन पहिया जिसे कहीं नहीं पहुँचना इतनी सी बात है यही ख्याल है जो उन तक नहीं पहुंचता आसपास बड़ी ऊंची इमारतें हैं शायद टकराकर गिर जाता होगा कहीं अब कौन जाकर देखे इमारतों के उस पार पड़े उस जख्मी ख्याल को जो उन तक पहुंचना चाहता था एक पचास साल तीस साल दिखने के जुनून में जब धीमी चलती लोकल से गिर उतरने की कोशिश में गिरते गिरते बचता है तो अंदाजा लगा लेता है कि अगली मरतबा जवानी आजमाने की कोशिश नहीं करेगा और उसकी बीवी लॉ फूटने से पहले ही निकल आई बीमार बेटी का पता करने आई थी थोड़ा उसके साथ रोने थोड़ा हंसने थोड़ी धीमी आवाज में ये कहने के कुछ तो बर्दाश्त करना पड़ता है अपना घर बचाने के लिए ये जानते हुए कि कुछ तो मैं कर ही सकती थी और इन सब में एक भेड़ मैं ये सोचता हूं कि तिवारी अब बत्तीस तनख्वाह लेता है और मेरी कविताएं लोग पैसे लेकर भी नहीं सुनते पर भेड़ बनने में क्या बुरा है कविताएं तो लिखी जा सकती हैं भेड़ कवि सुनने में इतना बुरा नहीं लगता थैंक यू सो मच दिस स्मॉल पोइम कॉल्ड रिंचिन डोलमा आई वॉज इन लद्दाख वेन आई रोड दिस पोएम कि रिंचिन और डोलमा अब बीज जेब में रखती हैं सोचती हैं बहुत भूख लगी तो भून कर खा जाएंगी वैसे भी दफनाना बर्बाद करना है बर्फ कभी भी पड़ जाती है और ढक लेती है सतह को कई दिनों तक तब तक जब तक बीज सड़ कर दम घुट कर मर नहीं जाते सड़ नहीं जाते कब तक बच्चों को बर्फ पे नमक लगाकर चटाते रहेंगे थक चुके हैं वो भी पेट में आटा चावल महसूस करना चाहते हैं फिर जब लोग आकर ये कहते हैं कि आप जन्नत में रहते हैं तो, तो पेट का दर्द और बढ़ जाता है भूख और उग्र हो जाती है पर रिंचिन हिम्मत नहीं करती बीज दफनाने की उसे मालूम है बर्फ अब और ना समझ हो गई है वो कभी भी पड़ जाती है कभी उनकी चिमनियां ढक देती है मवेशी मार देती है वो रोक देती है उनके जीने के साधन और जब सैलानी सैलानी कैमरा लेकर जन्नत की फोटो निकालने आते हैं तो रिंचिन रो पड़ती है एक आखिरी बार और भर के बीज मुट्ठी में सारे के सारे निकल जाती है उसे मालूम है बर्फ को फर्क नहीं पड़ता है कि रिंचिन कौन है और डोलमा कब की मर चुकी है थैंक यू सो मच पोएम कॉल्ड नज़म मीन्स पोएम नज़म कर क्या सकती है वन वी हिट अ राइटर्स ब्लॉक वी राइट दिस आउट ऑफ एंगर इन फ्रस्ट्रेशन कि लफ्ज़ों की हेरा फेरी के अलावा नज़म कर क्या सकती है लफ्ज़ों की हेरा फेरी के अलावा नज़म कर क्या सकती है 
दिल पहले मोम के थे पिघल जाते थे अब नहीं भेद पाती है बुतों को बुत जिनके पुजारी होते हैं जाहिल होते हैं उसी नज्म की तरह जो झूठी संवेदनाएं लिखती है जो जन्म लेती है देखकर उसे जो अपने इकट्ठे किए कूड़े की थैली लटकाए खड़ा काफी देर से छान कर सारी पन्नियां थक कर बैठ गया है उसी से टेक लगाकर पर नज्म उससे कुछ नहीं कहती उसकी और किताब नहीं फेंकती उसको उसके लिए माँ नहीं ढूंढती उसके लिए घर नहीं ढूंढती अकड़ी अकड़ी हुई जागती है अंगड़ाई लेकर फिर सो फिर सो जाती है नज्म कुछ नहीं करती नज्म शायद बच्चा है जो हर किसी को दोस्त बना लेती है जो उसे हंसाता है शायद दूसरा प्यार है जो चालाक हो जाता है शायद बनिया है जो जितनी एहसास जितनी जरूरत हो उतने एहसास खर्च करती है ये सूबेदार है जो जो पचपन साल का सूबेदार है जो जो लड़ाकू तैयार तो करती है पर खुद नहीं लड़ती नज्म थक चुकी है दोपहर दुविधा में रहती है दोपहर प्यार में रहती है नज्म थक चुकी है ना ना न स्काई लाग के पंखों पे बैठना चाहती है ना तलवार की धार पर नज़म मेरी कायरता मेरे झूठ मेरी कमजोरी का सबसे साफ चेहरा है जिस पर कोई मुहासा तक नहीं कि जिसे दबाकर मैं दिखा सकूं आधा ही सही कोई सच कि मेरी भी कोशिश जारी है इंसान गलतियों का पुतला है कितनी हेरा फेरी है लफ्जों की पर इसके अलावा नज़म कर कह सकती है थैंक यू सो मच सो दिस वन लास्ट पॉइंट वेरी स्मॉल फॉर माई लैंडेड विद इट्स लाइक वन वन आई ट्राई टू राइट अ रोमांटिक मोम इट एंड्स अप बीइंग सो डिफिकल्ट एंड गोरी सो दो चार सांसें खैरात में देकर जाता है इट्स लाइट पर और बदले में मुझको अपने साथ ले जाता है दो चार सांसें खैरात में देकर जाता है और बदले में मुझको अपने साथ ले जाता है मैं भी इस वहम में कि तमाम उम्र रहेगी यही सूरत चल निकलती हूँ नज़रें झुकाए दश तो शहर जहाँ भी वो लेकर जाता है वो एहसान जताता है कत्ल करता जाता है फिर भी उस संग दिल में मुझे सैयद यूसुफ नज़र आता है वो रुकता नहीं है पाँव में मेरे जब काटा लगता है वो रुकता नहीं है हलक मेरा जब सूखता जाता है वो रुकता है बस एक ही बात दोहराने बार बार वक्त कम है बहुत नदी के पार मेरा गाँव आता है नदी तूफान पे इतना शोर करती है मैं कबूल कहती हूँ वो सुन नहीं पाता है मैं पर्ची पे लिखती हूँ तूफान उड़ा के ले जाता है तभी सूरज निकलता है पुल टूट जाता है मेरा सैयद मेरे सामने डूब जाता है मैं फिर से चिल्लाती हूँ कबूल है आंख खुल जाती है सपना टूट जाता है थैंक यू सो मच आई एम अंकिता शाह एंड आई एम द को फाउंडर ऑफ द पोट्री क्लब एंड आई वर्क एज अ टैक्स कंसल्टेंट Uh, on weekdays and curate poetry events on weekends so here's my first poem thank you some stars that still shimmer in the vast blue have long died so long a distance is traversed by what is perhaps their dying light from when they struggled to keep themselves aflame only to reach our naked eyes and appear as nothing as if nothing had changed when you whisper i love you too your very i may see through the veil a dead star shimmering in the vast blue so here i come to tell you how to save both our lives there are a thousand ways to say no to someone you love but only one to someone you don't so do not write me a poem with another name for mine with another word for grief do not hold my hand and rub your thumb across my palm as if somehow these creases could be disarmed do not euphemize your goodbye with words like friend and life and better men do not tell me of my kinds and how you are not one of them do not ask me why i love you only to tell me how you are no more that person do not for god's sake give me silence for it could no more worsen this masquerade of affirmation you've become the light of a dead star i've become the wave who in all its madness to reach the sky is slowly reducing to nothing so let us leave we'd only be two illusions each time we meet and if all that we can never have is our loss then all of this world is already lost what is ours to keep while there are a thousand ways to say no pray tell me only no and nothing more thank you my next poem is called borders it's about um, the discrimination that we face based on caste creed thought basic choices that we make in life and how we completely oversee the commonality that we all have which is that we are all after all human beings and they have the right to free will it's called borders there are borders made of tall cement walls 
relentless mountains and wayfaring rivers that have tasted blood. Borders made of armed men, dead, alive, forgotten. Borders made of distorted religions. Borders sharp as sword that have cut limbs and breasts and children. Borders that have turned souls into lost homes, misplaced and broken. Borders that we create everywhere we go, like self-proclaimed universes in comfort zones. We are drawing borders on mind and soul, dropping bombs on ideals. We bemoan erading people who won't conform until they fear even the sight of a shooting star. We create borders to separate dreams written on pillows made of bricks from dreams written on bait sheets. We create borders arguing over truths, unmindful that truth comes from the word tree. And the last time I checked, we had more than one kind. But we are unkind enough to listen to a story that does not resemble us. Instead, we create borders to breed ignorance, turning faces on second chances and brooding reluctance. We create borders over and over, like drawing so many lines that look like horizons stacked up one over the other, so the sun is devoured sooner. If the sun ever had a chance, it would never rise again. In a world that raises walls around it each time, a light wants to enter. In a world that wants the dusk to fall soon, so more bombs can be dropped and some more dreams may be shot. The border between India and Nepal is only a divider. Few armed soldiers and a signboard, but in school, no blackboard could ever subdue the curiosity over my small eyes. My name was instantly replaced by Nepali that always came with an unfathomable urgency and mockery. And to the people who didn't ask, my eye can see as much as everyone else. For years, these borders have been standing in attention, quivering under the blazing heat of the sun with avalanches descending like angry gods. These borders want to drop because they cannot see how we are any different from each other. If we drop this facade of courage, we'll see our borders are made of fear. Each direction you look, you'll see horizons. It says this is how far you can see if you stand right here at the same place. But if you move forward, you'll see a little more of what seemed beyond the end of your vision. And you'd know it doesn't look any different than you. For you are beyond the horizon for someone else too. Thank you. So with that, I will we'll conclude the poetry reading section of today's evening. Thank you, Mr. Asgaonkar, for inviting us. Nazam, kya kar sakti hai? Aisa sawal kabi zehn mein matane dena. Nazam, bahut kuch kar sakti hai. Aap Nazam likhte ho, poetry likhte ho. We are, I'm very happy to see this young talent. And uh, Nazam, four labzo mein volumes suna diye. Or Nazam. गूंगे को बोलना सिखाती है अंधे को भी दिखा देती है तो ये आप लोगों में जो स्पिरिट है उसको कायम रखना हमारे लाइब्रेरी की तरफ से अगर हम आपके लिए कुछ कर सके तो हमें ज़रूर बताना विल बी हैप्पी आई थैंक यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल आवर ऑडियंस आई होप आई एम श्योर दे हैव ऑल एन्जॉयड दिस इवनिंग ऑल द बेस्ट टू यू ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच अंकज विवेक शर्मा हु वॉज हियर एंड फर्स्ट ब्रोच द इशू ऑफ हैविंग अ पोइट्री रीडिंग सेशन फॉर मेम्बर्स ऑफ द लाइब्रेरी बट आई एम श्योर विद further cooperation and interaction amongst us we will try and hold more of such programs in future thank you thank you, thank you.